Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? How you doing? You know who this is, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club. And coming up will be Schroeder Skywalker DFS. He's going to make his way over here right now, guys, so don't you dare be sour. Check it out. I busted out the old school, the real one hat. Check it out. You guys remember those? Um, Look who it is, guys. Look who it is right on cue. We don't got the studio up. But we're good. We're happy. This is Schroeder Skywalker, also from the DFS Club. How many guys with a five-game MLB main slate video? If you're new, please hit that subscribe button. Smash that bell icon. Hit that like button. And keep leaving those comments, guys. It's doing the channel big favors. Big favors. And if you're returning and you haven't subscribed yet, Schroeder says, what the hell are you doing? Look at him. He's like, praise, praise the gods. Praise the DFS gods. Um, so, yeah, guys, if you're returning and you haven't subscribed, you haven't hit that like button, you're not leaving any comments, please help me out. It helps him out, helps myself out. It just gets more eyes on the channel because that's all YouTube cares about. And all I care about is you guys winning. All I care about is the DFS club winning. So without further ado, Schroeder, let's start the freaking show. All right, so that's our little song and dance. Um, after a huge slate, we get a nice little five gamer. I was waiting for Draft Dashboard to actually add Baltimore to the slate. For some reason, they didn't have the whole the whole team was gone. So, um, literally getting this video up, but hopefully you guys uh, catch it. It's the night before, so you have plenty of time to check it out, guys. Before we get into it. We got to keep the lights on. We got to pay the bills around here. Check it out. If you guys want my lineups, my ownership, projections, top stacks, and we play every single sport, not just MLB. We play everything, guys. Nobody does this, especially at these prices. NBA, NFL, MLB, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, esports, UFC, WNBA, college sports, EuroLeague basketball, USFL. All you got to do is click join now. Click on my logo, Skywalker DFS, and then pick your plans, guys. Cheapest in the industry, $14.99 a month. It's almost Friday, guys. Let's go. We got the weekend coming up. We got a UFC pay-per-view. Every plan covers everything. The only difference is the more you pay up, the more you save. You get prize picks. You get the members-only podcast. We Schroeder and I go live one hour before lock. He's right here with me, and we break down the MLB slate, guys. We had some weather concerns today. Um, and it came down to the wire pretty much. Um, so yeah, don't miss out, man. That's when we really, really make the lineups. Again, you get all my lineups, ownership, projections, top stacks, um, top pitchers, everything you guys will need, man. Exclusively to the DFS club. I do the night before videos for YouTube, but one hour before locks when the magic happens. And for NBA, Space and I break it down. Yo, my Warriors are down two games to one, but we're going to come back. It's all good. I'd like to say shout out to the Boston Celtics, but I'm, you know what? They kind of did some shady shit today. So I don't know about that. You remember what I said from game one is as long as they play fair, may the best man win, may the best team win. But come to find out, they set the Warriors hoop a little bit over 10 inches because during a, a practice today, you guys are like, wait a minute, what's going on? The guys are trying to dunk, whatever. They're like, the hoop's not, it's higher than what it should be. So they brought out the measuring stick. They come to find out it was like 10, in, 10 feet, 5 inches or something like that. So very classy, Boston, very classy. But that's okay. We're going to win game four. Then you all got to come back here. So we got, some, we got some stuff waiting for you. Maybe we'll wait outside of your hotel room all night and just lay on our horns. Maybe we'll door, door what, what they used to call that when we were kids, uh, Doorbell ditch. We'll do that all night. We'll keep you guys up all night, man. Don't mess with the bay, man. You guys want to play dirty? You you fired the first shot. We're going to play dirty now. Let's go, Warriors. Um, 
Can't wait for that next game, man. But yeah, we did deserve to lose today. We can't. We couldn't make shots. Even Steph Curry is missing layups. My goodness. So, but hopefully DFS wise, you guys did pretty good. I did okay, but I didn't take down. You know, that's the ultimate goal. That's what I always try and achieve. So, didn't do it. But I've already had one this playoff slate, so I'm just looking to continue to do it. All right. So let's bring up Draft Dashboard, guys. If you guys want to check this out. It's only $1 for 30 freaking days. That's it. $1 will make you holla. Click on the link in the description below. You yourself can have Draft Dashboard, guys. If you have any questions regarding Draft Dashboard, regarding the DFS club, memberships, anything, contact me, skywalkerdfs at gmail.com. Very easy to get a hold of. Um, that's This is my life. DFS is my life. I do this full time. I'm a... Uh, Privileged enough to do it. I've earned my money playing it over the last, what, seven, eight years. So um, I'm here for you guys. So that's it, man. One dollar for 30 days. Click the link in the description below. Let me see. I got I got it open on two windows. Let's see if I close the right one. Oh, perfect. All right. So let's get into it. Pretty cut and dry slate. And for a small five gamer, we got some pretty good pitching. So off the top, we're looking at Garrett Cole. Going up against Minnesota, they actually put up a lot of runs today. Um, they lit up a good pitcher in Nestor Cortez. Garrett Cole's 10.4. Um, again, I think he found some sticky substance, but you know what? Good for him. Seven, six, eight innings in his last three. 26, 29, 37 DraftKings points. Garrett Cole's 10.4. He's $400 more on FanDuel. Absolutely. Probably going to off on a five-game slate. He's probably going to be very chalky. You got Max Free going up against Pittsburgh. He's 9.5K. Not nearly <laughs> the output as Garrett Cole. I mean, Max Freed a couple years ago was pretty damn good. One of the best pitchers in the league. But it's a great matchup against Pittsburgh. But surprisingly, look at this history against them. 4, 18, negative 2. Not too good. For some reason, Pittsburgh likes to light his ass up. So, Started off a little rough, 11, then a 14, 15, and then 20 and 24 in his last two. So definitely worth a look at 9-5. However, we got Nick Pavetta on the slate. He's only 8-4. I like him a hell of a lot better. The Angels have just are just awful. They're just – they no Mike Trout with a groin injury. He'll probably be out again. Um, Shohei Otani is going to be pitching, so he'll probably be DHing. So Otani might not – you know, his arm's going to be – stretched out from pitching, you might not have as much power as you normally would have. So Nick Pavetta looks like a solid option at 8.4K. 31, 21, 17 in his last three. Love it at 8.4. Um, Dylan Bundy against the Yankees. Man, the Yankees really got me right in the old prison pocket today, man. Not good. Him and Stanton combined for six fantasy points on FanDuel. Six. You can't make this shit up, guys. But the Yankees look good, man, against Bundy. King Kong Bundy, negative 6, 6, 19, 10, negative 12. I got to go back to the Yankees on, on this one because King Kong Bundy ain't going to cut the mustard. You got Shoei Otani. So like I said in the night before, last night's video, I wouldn't be surprised if this game is one nothing. And, and, and damn it, wasn't it one nothing? going into the later innings, man. So, but Shoy Otani at 8-1. As far as, like, pitching-wise, he's been okay. He's got some nasty stuff, but Kike Hernandez landed on the injury reserve list. So, that's one less bat, too. Um, so, yeah, I like Shohei Otani at 8-1. Um, and then you got Connor Plankton going up against Oakland, 7.1K. Great outing last time. He only pitched five innings, though. We like six to get that uh, quality start on Fandle. 27 DraftKings points. He strikes fools out. That's what he does. Um, love him on DraftKings at 7-1. Oakland is Oakland, right? We're going to pick on him, pick on him, pick on him. And then the rest of these guys, like Lyles, Caparillarian, the Boob, Chris Bubik. These are... These are uh, not very good pitchers, and these are teams that we're going to stack up against. Well, we're going to stack up against these pitchers anyway. All right, so let's get in. Before we get into bats, let's get into the projected totals and the weather. No weather concerns, it looks like, 
for once, that's good, right? Uh, Oakland and Cleveland, 67 degrees. Um, seven mile an hour winds blowing kind of left to right. 3.8 for Oakland, 4.9 for Cleveland. Again, Caprillion versus Plankton. Then we got Pittsburgh at Atlanta. Atlanta came through except for Acuna, right? Everyone did their thing. Austin Albies even got a home run today. 81 degrees. This is going to be great hitting weather here, guys. Nine mile an hour winds blowing out to center field. Again, that's why I'm really not that high on Max Freed. Um, I think Pittsburgh can put up some runs here. 3.1 for Pittsburgh, 5.1 for the for I almost said the Angels for the Braves. But yeah, great hitting weather here. Next up, we got the Yankees at the Twins. 76 degrees. Five mile an hour winds blowing out to right field. 5.1 for the Yankees, 3.6 for the Twins. Garrett Cole against Dylan King Kong Bundy. Then we got Baltimore at Kansas City. This could lightweight be like the slate breaker right here. Uh, Baltimore especially, they've been red hot. 71 degrees. Um, really no one to speak of. 4.8 for Baltimore. 4.9 for Kansas City. I might take the under there on Kansas City. They just don't score runs. I don't care who the pitcher is. You got Bruce Zimmerman against the Boob. And then last but not least, the Red Sox at the Angels. Partly cloudy, 73 degrees. Um, 3.6 for the Red Sox, 4 for the Angels. We got Nick Pavetta, probably one of my favorite pitchers on the slate next to Garrett Cole. Isn't that right, Schroeder? He says, you damn skippy. Against Shohei Otani. So, for a five-game slate, man, we got some good pitchers. So, tons of ways to get different. And we can make a dollar and a cent on this slate. All right, so let's go to some bats here. Let's see what we're looking at. Any catchers maybe that was standing out? William Contreras for Atlanta. He's always in play. He's always going to start. MJ Melendez is going to start always. We'll put him in the player pool here. Um, Gary Sanchez is probably going to start. He didn't play today. He's actually two for three against Garrett Cole. And it is a revenge game, too. Four three, though, maybe. Garrett Cole does give up home runs, guys. He does. He makes up for it, though, with his strikeouts. Um, and that's about it. We pretty much don't know who's going to play, but we know these catchers are going to play. I would assume Sanchez is going to play because he had, took today off. So let's go to first base. So Trey Mancini, part of that Baltimore stack I'm liking. He's 4'7". Again, like I talked about last night, man, it, they didn't play. So it's basically... Same thing I said last night. Going up against the lefty, he crushes lefties, and he's one for three against the boob with a triple. 14, 4, 18 in his last three. So I like Mancini, part of that Baltimore stack at 4, 7. I like Josh Naylor, 4.2K. He's not too expensive, man. He normally bats fifth. Going up against Caporellian, I like a Cleveland stack here today. OPS versus righties, 851. Love it. Get him in there at 4.2. And then Ryan Mountcastle, 3.1K. Not bad for 3-1. I think he's severely underpriced here. Again, going up against the boob. Righties, lefties, it doesn't matter with him. He hits them both, guys. Uh, then Matt Duffy, only because he's the leadoff hitter. Good cash play here. He's only 3-3 for the Angels. Don't expect much. But I love leadoff hitters, especially in this 3K range, man. Let's go to second base. So, Andreas Jimenez, 4.2K, part of my Cleveland stack I'm liking, 14, 9, 18, 19, 12. And he just keeps going on and on and on, and he's still batting like seventh. One of the hottest hitters in the league right now. He's perfect against Caparelli and with a single. Love him, part of that Cleveland stack, get him in there. And if you want to get different with that Baltimore stack, you can go with Rug Ruggenden Odor. He's only 2.9. He's been good. And he crushes lefties. And he gets the boob. So, I love Odor at 2-9. Uh, Ozzy Albies, I'll go back here at 4-7. You know, Atlanta's going to be popular and for good reason. Um, he's he's perfect against Brutabaker. Two singles. I like Albies here today, part of that Atlanta stack. And then I'm going to go back to the Yankees. Why not? I love punishment. DJ LeMayhew, he's first, second, third base eligible, I think, on FanDuel. 4.4K on DraftKings. Still too cheap, man. Way too cheap. Let's go to third base. Jose Ramirez, 6.3K. 
Should have a should have a great day tomorrow, guys. Um, if I'm stacking Cleveland, I'm having Jose Ramirez in that stack. You best believe that. Austin Riley, part of that Atlanta stack. Gosh, they're so expensive though. 5.7K. Coming off a phenomenal game. But look at this, guys. This don't scream at you to play Austin Riley. I don't know what does. This is why you tune into the Skywalker and the Schroeder and the Schroeder show here. Two for three against Bruder Breaker, two home runs. Three at bats, two home runs against them. So love Austin Riley tomorrow at 5'7. Um Let's see, Ramon Urias. Yeah, I like this guy too. You're going to stack Baltimore. It's a way to get different. 3K. Um, he's been good this year. Better than expected, shall I say. He isn't going up against a lefty, but I'm going to take a shot here. Um, and then let's go to shortstop. Dansby Swanson Stake. He's 5.4K. Part of that Atlanta stack. One for three against Bruder Baker with the home run. Get him in there. Bobby Witt. 5.1K. If Kansas City's, if Vegas thinks Kansas City's going to get close to five runs, got to come from somewhere. And who else than Bobby Witt? Probably the best player they got right now. Two for three against Lyles. But Witt, it really doesn't matter, righties or lefties. He's been pretty solid, man. And at 5.1K, he gets a home run. You're sitting pretty good. And then for the Yankees to get different at 3 7, you can put Isaiah Keener Filafia. Add two more names to that name there, guy. Um, he normally bats seventh, but we'll see where he's at in the order. He has a good history against King Kong Bundy. Six for 16, 375 batting average, five singles and a jack. So way to be different. Get some of the lower order Yankees guys, and maybe you can fit in Austin Riley. You can fit in the expensive bats. Let's go to outfield. So Ronald Acuna Makatana got Schroeder and I right in the old cat box. Right, Schroeder? Right in the old dust-free cat box, the clumping litter. Out of all the freaking guys on Atlanta, he didn't do shit, and he's the most expensive, right? 6'2", but you got to go back here, man. He normally does better against lefties, but not by much. So he leads off, does everything, multi-purpose. Aaron Judge coming off two fantasy points on DraftKings. He's 6K. He's got three home runs and 19 at-bats against King Kong Bundy. Judge crushes righties. We'll see if Mike Trout plays. If he plays, going up against Pavetta, I don't like the matchup for him, but it's Mike freaking Trout, man. If he can do some stretches, but for 5-5, five, five, that's kind of cheap. So we'll see if he plays, though. We don't want to jump the gun here. I'm not paying 5K for J.D. Martinez. He's not that J.D. Martinez anymore. Austin Hayes, part of that Baltimore stack, 4.1K. Yeah, he's been good. 23-0, 18-0, 12-0. So besides those zeros, right, 28, 8, sorry, 23, 18, and 12, I like Austin Hayes, part of that Baltimore. They're just cheap, man. Um, let's see here. Cedric Mullins going to lead off for freaking Baltimore, 4.7K. His vice is – he's so due for some progression, man. Against the boob here, he's three for five, two doubles and a jack. Cedric Mullins, love those – love that history, man. Get him in there. Uh, if you're going to stack Cleveland, you can go Miles Straw, but just be forewarned, he doesn't hit home runs. We want home runs, damn it. And then we th we got Adam Duvall today, and it worked out really good. 3.5K because we were trying to get different in that Atlanta stack. Um, ended up getting 23 DraftKings points, a homer, 15, 21, 23 in his last four. So I'll go right back here to Duvall at 3.5 for some salary relief. And then I'm going to keep going back to my man here, Jack Solinsky. Solinsky from Tommy Boy. 2.1K. This kid is good, man. 14, 7, 20 in his last three. 16, 13 before that. Man, four out of his last five. Low score he got is a 13. So, yeah, I like Solinsky here at 2-1. Um, Christian Arroyo is going to be leading off with Kike Hernandez being out. He's only 2-7. I'd say a good cash play here, but don't expect much. He's not very good. I'm, I'm just going to be blunt. Michael Harris, we've talked about him in the Members Only podcast today about being different, about saving some salary on this Atlanta stat. Got a home run today. It worked out great. He's only 2-6. He bats ninth, guys, but this kid is good. Um, crazy good. 
Good prospect here. It makes the lineup again, man. Love him for only 2.6K. And last but not least, Jackie Bradley Jr. as just a random one-off play for a cheap. He's 2-5. He's 3-4 for four against Otani. Two singles and a double. So Jackie Bradley Jr. has not been good for a couple years, but I like him as a one-off today for 2-5. I like that history, you guys. All right, so are you guys ready? For the best part of the show, you see his little face right here. It's time for the one, the only Schroeder's picks. Where Schroeder is going to give us, what are you going to give us, Schroeder? Yeah, are you going to give us your home run calls? Yeah. All right. So let's do it. So there is a, a four game early slate too, but we're just going to stick to the main slate today, Schroeder. So Schroeder, looking at the player pool. Who do you got for our first home run call of the day? Who do you got for the first home run? Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Schroeder's first home run call is none other than Cedric Mullins. Okay. I like it. We're on the same page. All right, Schroeder, who do you got for your second home run call? Okay. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. I like it. Schroeder's second home run call. Are you sure about this one? He says, you damn straight, I'm sure. It's going to be none other than Austin Riley. So we got Cedric Mullins. We got Austin Riley. All right, Schroeder. So who's going to break the slate? Who's going to get us two home runs tomorrow and win us all the money, all the salmon treats? Who do you got? Oh, you guys got that one. So if you don't speak cat, I'll interpret it for you. So Schroeder's third home run call. Who he thinks is going to get us two home runs as none other than Jose Ramirez from the Cleveland Indians, guys. And that's going to do it for the show. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. We didn't put up the, the, the movie set tonight, but it's all good, man. Schroeder's look better than ever. Um, don't forget, DFSClub.com. Come join the family. What do we say, Schroeder? Stop losing. Start winning. Look at Schroeder. Look at you guys when he says that. Just believe in us, man. We got you. We have so much fun in here. Um, DFSclub.com. Click join now. Click my logo. Pick your plan. And you guys are in. Um, the best and the cheapest. Everybody can afford it, guys. Um, that's our premium, as other people would call it, premium content. But it's just, you know, we're just a community. We're a family. And we win. And we, we win quite a bit. MLB. MLB has been really good. NBA has been good. Can't complain. Can't complain. When you play DFS for a living, Schroeder, we can't complain, right? And draft dashboard $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below. If you have any questions, email me, skywalkerdfs at gmail.com. What do we always say, Schroeder? Let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. Schroeder and I are out. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.